a young and beautiful girl, and a secret life as a call girl. When the unthinkable happens, how will she deal with the consequences? During her family's summer vacation on the Mediterranean coast of southern France, Isabel decides to share her first intimate moment with a charming German teenage tourist named Felix. Her encounter, however, leaves her dissatisfied. Isabel's family throws her a party to celebrate her 17th birthday. Isabel remains reserved and keeps her personal experiences hidden, especially from her mother Sylvie, who believes she knows what is best for Isabel. In the fall, she starts working part-time as a call girl, meeting clients at luxury hotels under the alias Leah. She lies about her age, claiming to be 20. One of her clients is George's, whom she grows to like due to his kindness. Unfortunately, during one of their meetings, he suffers a heart attack while they are being intimate. Isabel tries without success to revive him and, overwhelmed with shock, flees the scene. During the winter, the police arrive to inform Isabel's mother, Sylvie, of her daughter's involvement in prostitution and her connection to George's death. Enraged, Sylvie slaps Isabel several times before apologizing and grounding her. Isabel is forced to give a statement to the police, recounting how she was approached by a man on the street, but found the idea repulsive. After learning about students making money through prostitution, she created a website, bought a second cell phone, and went into business on her own. As a minor, Isabel is technically considered a victim and won't face charges, but her mother retains the money Isabel earned. Sylvia takes Isabel to a therapist to help her cope with the aftermath, addressing her feelings of guilt, particularly the belief that she was responsible for George's death. Eventually, Isabel adopts a regular teenage lifestyle and takes on the role of a babysitter. In the spring, she meets Alex at a party and they start dating. They share an intimate moment, during which Isabel has to take an active role and help him out. Following this, she decides to end the relationship, explaining to Alex that she does not have romantic feelings for him. Isabel reactivates her phone SIM card to check for messages addressed to Leah. Alice, George's widow, found Leah's phone number in her late husband's address book and requested a meeting at the hotel. When Alice arrives, she explains the situation and expressing her desire to meet the girl George's was with when he passed away. Alice was aware of George's involvement with other women and his heart condition and does not hold Isabel accountable, considering dying while making love a beautiful death. They visit the hotel room where George's passed away and Alice instructs Isabel to keep her clothes on and lie beside her on the bed. Isabel shares that she needed to be there as well. Isabel falls asleep as Alice gently caresses her face. Isabel wakes up alone the next morning in the final scene, looking more at ease. Thanks for watching. To catch all the latest from us, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as a new video drops. We'll see you in the next one.